Joining us now in studio, the new cornerbacks coach at BYU, Gennaro Guilford, hero in his own right here at BYU. Coach, uh, number one, welcome back. It's nice to have you in Studio B. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be back. Okay, our Twitter question today, and you may have heard it, is if you could relive one moment in BYU sports history over and over and over again in honor of Groundhog Day, what would it be for you? The Hail Mary. Oh, the Hail Mary. Well, no, which one? The bowl game. Okay. okay. So Jim McMahon, Clay Brown, yeah. win the 1980 Miracle Bowl, pull yeah. off the most improbable comeback mm. in bowl game history. So not because there are a lot of people that are chiming in with what you did against Utah in 2001, the interception to seal the deal, to keep the undefeated season alive. And at, at Gentleman 87 says, Staley's winning touchdown plus Guilford's interception was probably the loudest I have ever heard Lavelle Edwards Stadium. What was that moment like? I mean, it was it was big. It was huge. You know, um, I have family here, so just to to come from behind and just our team to continue to fight and fight and fight and take the lead, and it was just a great feeling to seal the game to to keep our team undefeated. How often do Cougar fans ask you to relive that moment when they realize, oh my gosh, that's General Guilford? <laughs> it was that they all want to talk about it with you? Uh, more more recently, yes. <laughs> um, but I mean, I always tell them. I mean, it, it, it starts before me, you know. It starts before me, and there are tons of great plays after me. Um, of course, I, I mean, do I relive it? Yes. <laughs> to be honest with you, yes, I do. And you um, should. Yes, but I mean, just when you watch the videos of guys that played before me and the plays they made, um, I, I was just, I was just privileged enough to be on that video and make a play. So, so what was the bigger play? Was it? Staley's go-ahead touchdown or the one that you made to actually save the game? Uh, they're about even. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good they're even. politically even. correct. Yeah, good, yes. good political yeah. answer there. They're about even. Gennaro Guilford, the new cornerbacks coach at BYU. Do you remember how loud the stadium – I mean, when you're in that moment, are you even paying attention to that? What, what Do you remember the, the volume or were you just like, we just won? I didn't really hear the crowd until – after the play was over, during, it was silent. It was like I was dead. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> I just remember, yes, the game's over, the game's over. And afterwards, I seen everybody running down, and then I, I, felt, I, felt, the, I felt the crowd. And so, but it was tremendously loud. Yeah. Speaking of loud, uh, Saturday night at the Marriott Center was pretty loud. They, at halftime, introduced the entire BYU football coaching staff. What was that experience like? Like I said before, it was like running out the tunnel. It was like running out the tunnel, like 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 we were a player, um, just to hear your name called and everybody cheering. And, um, we're just ready to get to work. Just can't wait. When did the reality of you coming back to coach at BYU first surface in all of this coaching changeover? Um, sometime in December. Okay. So the news comes out. What's going through your mind when that you're like, oh, man, this – this might be good for me. What what was that like for you? Um, it was a great feeling. Um, Coach Brian Mitchell, um, he used to be here. That's like my guy. That's that's my mentor. I, I called him as soon as, as soon as I heard anything, and he was just reinforcing me, just letting me know that, hey man, you are the guy. There's nobody that's a better fit than you that that can coach those guys up better than you. Um, we talk all the time. Um, we use the same same drills and everything. So that's that's totally my guy and. Um, so he just kind of reinforced me that, look, you're the guy. Don't, don't go in there thinking that you're not the guy because you are. So, You're a young coach, and obviously your goal is to continue to take steps and, and you know, push your career further. What does it mean to be able to get that opportunity? Oh, and by the way, it's at your alma mater. That's, that's always a great feeling, especially um, for my family, just to, to come here and be around everybody. Um, and see 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 what I went through as as a as a college student, um, have my son kind of relive the moments as as he watches the videos and hear the crowd and things like that. So, um, it's it's just a great feeling. Now you have an interesting uh, recruiting situation right now because the turnover has been so fast. Mm -hmm. So what has been the biggest challenge for you and this staff in trying to get ready for tomorrow and signing day? Um, just kind of. Getting getting to know guys, getting to know them, um, letting letting them know who who we are um, as a person and what this school has to offer them. Um, 
that's that's pretty much the biggest thing. Now you're going to coach the cornerbacks. Do do you have a specific coaching philosophy, coaching style? What what, what are you bringing in terms of that to this coaching staff? Um, I've I've a different mentality a little bit. I mean, you know, I like to be in your face. I like to get hands on you. Um, you know, I like tall guys that can run. Um, we're gonna play every single play like I saw last. I, I guarantee you that much. You know, we gonna we're gonna play. We're gonna be like savages out there. It's it's gonna be fun. I I, I can guarantee you that. Okay, all, you're using all of the wor the right words right now. The the excitement level is again now increasing for all BYU fans. Savages and playing every play like it's your last play. You mentioned that you like big tall guys. I'm gathering that's because that's kind of the player that that you were. You know, the Richard Sherman style of bigger physical cornerback. So does that mean more man to man press coverage for BYU? Possibly, um, you know. But if guys are if guys are smaller and they can play, I'm 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 fine with that as well. You know, as long as you, as long as you have heart, let's go. If you, you can line up and ready to play, I'm fine with that. But um, we will, we will be out there, and we will play, and we will compete every single play. I know that recruiting is kind of top priority right now, so I don't know how much of an opportunity you've had to do this. But have you met with the cornerbacks? Have you had an opportunity to to watch film, things like that? Your overall thoughts on this I've, this position group? Yeah. I've actually been watching them for a couple of years. So the guys that's been here, um, I have been watching them. Um, and we're going to schedule a meeting uh, tomorrow so I can actually officially sit down with them all and talk over some things that I'm going to bring, things that they already have and stuff like that. What is your overall impression? If this is, if this is a group you've been watching, just from afar, what, what have you thought? Um, I believe we have a good group, a good group of guys, um, athletic, ability to make plays. They, they've been making plays for the last couple of years, um, so we're just going to adjust a few things and um, just kind of take it from there. Whether it's a 3-4 or a 4-3 front, how much does that affect the defensive backs and the way that you scheme in the defensive backfield? For me, none at all, because we're going to play the same way regardless. It can be a, a two-man front. We're still going to play the same way. All right, Gennaro Guilford, uh, let's finish uh, with this question. Kalani Satake as the head coach, what makes him unique? We've seen him in a few public forums. What makes him unique behind the doors with the recruits as the head coach at BYU? It's a great guy. Just just the ability to always be himself. You know, um, you see what you get. It's, it's, it's him. You know, he's, he's, he, has a, he has a great personality. Um, he has the ability to, to, to love young men. And that's just something that I, that I want to learn from him. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here so I can be under, under Kalani and just learn, learn from him and see how he does certain things and just kind of be a sponge and kind of take everything in. Okay, a couple of things here on BYU Sports Nation. First of all, uh, we want you to sign our stretch wide flag before you go. Most definitely. All of our athletes and coaches uh, sign that. And secondly, there's this thing called the BYU Sports Nation karma. And you might be laughing, but when, when people come on the show, good things happen in their lives. And for you, it's, it's coaching and recruiting right now. So tomorrow, take the karma and go and be successful. Most definitely. I would, <laughs> I would definitely take that karma. <laughs> I would definitely this. take that. Awesome. Gennaro, welcome back, man. Good to have you. Thank you.